people over the grave. Buttermilk biscuits. Not enough rice, honey. Attacking me. You seek God. I mean, what happened to this girl? Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for your girl. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. So y'all know I was telling y'all how much I wanted some net bones today, right? So my hubby did not do it. I thawed them out. I put them in this big broiler pan. They're going in the oven, y'all. I got some seasoning on. I got some salt, pepper. Well, some salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, um, onion powder. I got some onions up in there, some bell peppers. I got a little bit of cinnamon and brown sugar, y'all. These are in some water. These are going in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven. The oven is set to 400 um, degrees. It's going to stay in the oven. I'm going to check on them in a minute. I'm going to let y'all see them as I see them, okay? They're not ready yet. What I'm going to do is basically take a um, a um, utensil, a spoon or whatever, and I'm going a big spoon, and I'm going to stir them up and, you know, like, make sure the parts that's not wet get down into the juice or whatever. And at this point, I'm going to take a cup. I'm going to put myself about three, well, three tablespoons of flour in there with some water. I'm going to mix it really good. And then one tablespoon, one to two tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix it in really good. And I'm going to put that in here so it's going to form a gravy. So when I put it back in the oven, it's, it's going to thicken up that gravy or whatever. Because I want gravy with my um, neck bones. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. First, I'm going to stir them up and then I'm going to make the little gravy to go inside. Mm, look at that that looks so good y'all but they're not done yet they smell delicious y'all y'all know i put the um cinnamon in there and some brown sugar because i wanted them to have a bit of a sweetness to them sometimes i like i make my neck bones different all the time so you can you know if you see about six different neck bone recipes that's because i love neck bones and sometimes i want them a certain way and sometimes i want them another way so today i had a taste for the sweet with the um uh, cinnamon you know, I don't make them like that all the time. But I'm going to go ahead and make my little um, gravy real quick and add that to it. Okay, so I made the roux. I poured it in there. I'm going to um, put these back in the oven for one more hour, y'all. All right, y'all. So the oven just beeped. I just pulled the um, pan out of the oven. And oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks really, really good, y'all. Let me get my spoon. Um, so I can take a look at what we got over here. Look at what we got over here, y'all. So, yes, look at that gravy, y'all. Look at that gravy. Now, my spoon still had a little flour on it because it was still in the cup. But it's nice, y'all. It's nice and thick. Nice uh, little gravy, y'all. The meat is done. These net bones look so good so now all i gotta do is make my rice and um i don't know what i was gonna make with this y'all i know it's gonna make some rice and probably a little cornbread um and that's gonna be it you know um maybe some um some cauliflower i haven't had any cauliflower um in a while maybe some broccoli cauliflower type um mixture mixed vegetables or whatever but yes look at that look at that gravy y'all y'all see that yes baby and this is just like i said another recipe i cooked this in the oven i did not cook this on top of the stove i did not cook this in the crock pot so y'all have seen now this will be i think about the third um neck bone recipe that you guys are seeing look at those um bell peppers Yes. All right. If you have any questions, post them in the comments section. It's your girl, Lovely the Great. And these are, like I said, these are my net bones in the oven. It took a total of two hours to, to cook. All right, y'all. Bye.